and every five rows the middle one here also has mandakaru which is this this cactus here it is a cactus that grows taller as you can see over there over there it grows all around the system there you go forget about sustainability you want to enrich ecosystems every being is equipped to live a positive energetic balance keep it pruned we are cultivating abundance not a problem to cut down trees the problem is not planting them what is up youtube welcome to the ego forestry academy channel uh, today I'm gonna talk to you a bit about a system that um, that we're implementing which is actually I'm gonna show you two systems both designed for for animal production but in two two different ways of management because one is focused on pasture so the animal either for hay production or for direct grazing and the other the other one is for prickly pear production so it is for you know in dry regions farmers will have a prickly pear plot so that they can they can cut the clad dots and serve it to the animals so let's take a look at it i'm here below uh one of the most important trees in in the brazil northeast it's called caja the scientific name is spongius baiense so it's a pretty important tree it's got these huge roots that store water <clears throat> and as you can see we've got uh, grass grows incredibly well beneath it so that's good this one here is green panic so it's, it's a species of panicum maximum and and there we there you go we have the system here um, this one is for prickly pear production notice that we're not really doing any uh, any mulch because there's there isn't enough time and resources to do that because that would involve just uh, cutting a bunch of grass on the neighbors and, and then the depositing it here it's gonna be just impossible logistically speaking so what we did do is to plant two rows of pigeon pea in between each row of prickly pear so that we have quick grain cover <clears throat> and so the, the, the system we've got prickly pear rows every 1.5 meters or so uh, every and then in, in the we've got five rows of prickly pear a row of trees five rows of prickly pear a row of trees and then five rows of prickly pear in every five rows the middle one here also has mandakaru which is this this cactus here it is a cactus that grows taller as you can see over there over there it grows all around the system there you go so it's also used as animal feed and it's a lot more drought resistant than the prickly pear itself it's more of a, a high stratum or emergent species so we've got the pigeon pea and then the mandakaru is both in the row of trees and also in a middle row with the prickly pear here in the row of trees we've got uh, but beside mandakaru we've got we planted moringa every meter and a half and some native seedlings <clears throat> of wood trees and some uh, some fruit trees this is barbado cherry i think that's the name in english and also we're coming with lead tree that's lucaina and uh, some native species so this is system one system two which is for direct grazing we've got the rows of trees they were open kind of on, on contour but not exactly it wasn't really uh, precisely measured but uh, we we did it we, we kind of eyeballed it and then this one has rows of trees every 7.5 meters and then the rows of trees are composed of prickly pear mandakaru and also a bunch of seeds right in the middle we are irrigating 
although the system the idea is for it to be a system not irrigated but since since this implementation has been done during a course and the course had a fixed date because it's part of the project uh, we couldn't really wait for the rain and we're planting some seedlings so we kind of need to for we cannot lose these seedlings so that's why we set up an irrigation also the farmer here will eventually uh, set up some some more fruit trees which some of them will be a bit more demanding so she wants to have an irrigation set up just as a, like a, a saving irrigation as we call it in Brazil so like when you have just a little bit of water just to save seedlings in moments of severe drought so that's kind of the idea give you a side of the system so one one interesting thing you can see that the prickly pear was planted differently in what one plot and the other the reason for it is that the prickly pears here in this system since the the contour lines that we did uh, the, all the good soil was uh, fell to to the bottom right to, to the lower part of the of the line because the idea is for water to infiltrate here right so water will uh, will superficially well, if you have a, a very strong rainfall one time water will fall and slide a down slope and it will concentrate here so we put some of the soil there and that's the good soil so the prickly pear needs to be close to that soil but here right here opposed to the to this uh, little edge we've got the west that means we've got as you, you can see with my uh, by my shadow right now it's it's uh, about two o'clock so the prickly pears would be if they were face facing with their face uh, f facing with their face facing the west they would receive they, they would burn and would even die so we we decided to plant them like this so that they th their face is more protected so that's kind of the idea okay just wanted to share this week with you i hope you enjoyed this video and um and you dig the system for you guys who are in in our patron community i'm gonna try to come up with a with a sketch for the system to make it available for you and also i encourage you if you're not a member of the patron community if you if you want to help support the channel and get access to some extra material consider joining us you can join us for ninety dollars ninety no seven dollars 90 cents a month and it's a great way to just help the channel so that we can continue to bring all this agroforestry content to you if you cannot just subscribe to the channel that's already a great way to help us uh, and spread the word share it with your friends check out our full agroforestry course and yeah don't forget to hit the like button so i'll catch you in the next video